Radio, so um, just got a few more down that end, um, all staggered so we can get the zip ties in there nicely. Um, right, so I can uh, finish these now and then we'll pipe in this fire extinguisher and uh, through the bulkhead and such like. Lovely job! Okay, so we've come to the bulkhead um, for the nozzles for the, the fire extinguisher at the front. Um, it was a fairly straightforward little bracket here, just again we're just clipping this um, hard pipe there. but. I'm taking the opportunity, I've obviously got to blank off some of these holes in the bulkhead anyway, so I'm going to, um, you know, just make up little plates like this, and um, again, we'll nutsert those in there, and then we've got the uh, the nozzles in the correct positions, we've got one each side, we'll do the same on the other side, so yeah, we'll nutsert them in there, like, like I said, it's just five minutes making up a little plate, um, just lightweight aluminium, weighs nothing, um, job done. Okay, so um, that's this side done. Couple here, couple of nice little brackets. As I say, just this, it's all quite simple. Um, that was like not going straight there. It's properly irritating me. There it is. Um, okay, so just got to um, join this one in here and then do the same on the other side. Um, and then that is um, engine bay fire extinguisher resolved and sorted and ready to rock. Okay, uh, I've completed the fire extinguisher now. Um, through the bulkhead there, um, obviously bulkhead fitting and then just obviously goes zip zap round there. Um, just made a bracket there to hold that jet and obviously we've got that one there. Um, the other thing I've done is um, mount two AN6 bulkhead fittings in there and another little aluminium plate which I sort of um, mounted behind the bulkhead. Um, that is obviously to supply our fuel lines. I'm going to run AN6 Teflon um, all the way inside the cage. Um, it, it makes perfect sense to put it inside the cage. It's a safety aspect and it, again, it, as far as I'm concerned, it's just silliness not to put them inside. And again, Teflon AN6 is um, to the, the higher standard than is required. And again, it's a safety thing, so why not? Uh, same as this, basically. Um, so that's done, everything in here is done. I'm gonna make one plate there to go over that hole. Um, which is going to be where I'm going to bring the loom in. So basically, I've got to need, make another plate like that um, just to go there with a 40 mil hole for a grommet. Um, we're going to bring that in there and run down a chassis leg. Um, so once I've done that, I've got my new windscreen in, obviously, properly sexy. Um, so yeah, I can put my scuttle on once I've made that plate, put my scuttle on, put my wipers on, then that just feels like a step forward. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that now. That's got mount under the dashboard somewhere, Uncle Spike. No more nails. No more nails, no thank you. Right, so that's the ECU. We've got some other little bits and pieces. Um, we've got our transponder, so that, so that we'll know our exceptionally slow lap times. GPS module, he's gonna go up in the ceiling somewhere. Um, so that I know my lap times and we can look back at some data. Zip ties. Zip ties, yeah. But with the AIM GPS module, we've got the AIM PDM. Nice. That one needs mounting up in uh, somewhere near the ECU. And the creme de la creme, the 10 inch AIM PDM screen, which we need mounted here, Uncle Spike, please. Under the skirt. Under the skirt, under her skirt. Oh, lift the skirt. Oh, and we got mounting ECU for the um, power steering under here somewhere as well. Um, along with all that, get the little jets coming out spraying at me for when I. Uh, Set yourself on fire. Set myself on fire. Blaze of glory, as it were. Um, so yeah, happy with that? Yep. <laughs> so and one of the other bits and pieces we're trying to do is sort of simplify everything in the engine. Um, so all of the mission stuff, all the breather stuff, all the ports and pipes and bits of bits and pieces that are, are either awkward or a pain in the ass, a little bit unreliable, we're just going to try and lose. So um, one of the things that the the 4.2 does is, you know, swallows have told me that they do quite a few throttle bodies on. So we're gonna we're gonna replace the throttle body with something slightly more modern. This is the same size diameter wise, um, but this is like a like a Bosch Motorsport version. So same diameter as the original, but just more modern, more reliable. The other thing I'm gonna do is, or or I've got Uncle Spike to do for me is like just um, I've got this flange from. Um, uh, friend of mine ultra sport over at ultra sport engineering he, he machines these up so we basically cut the original um intake to the supercharger um at 90 so that we got the 90 degree bend off of it so the the um 
throttle body is just going to come straight into the back of the supercharger i've just like done a real rough job of porting that out so um yeah we're going to throw that on there and, and and hope that it sort of simplifies things um we lose a bit of resistance and a bit of bend there as well so hopefully it will simplify things and i don't i don't foresee it giving us much performance increase but it's something that we may or may not help in the future so we'll get this bolted on now the other um the other things was obviously uh pedal box um we put like a roll cage through where the original um brake servo would be no would lead that we're gonna have to put a pedal box in it so we haven't got much height um and everything i'd read about a pedal box um and knew from experience was the cheap ones are just junk they bend and all that sort of crap so i managed to find this now this is um all billet one single piece aluminium it's, it's, it's very very strong all the pedals are again billet aluminium um bearings um they've got this um balance bar in here so you can mount your own cylinders here one for the clutch and obviously two front rear brakes um the other bits and pieces that um i quite liked about it was you can just get um mount a bracket up um this is an e90 bmw throttle pedal again all solidly mounted um I got this plate as well. I've had to modify it very slightly to fit around my pedal where we bolted that on. But essentially, this should make my life that little bit easier. So all I've got to do really is mount this in there. Um, and then we can sort of calculate up our brake pedal, our brake sizes, piston sizes and such like for our our cylinders. I'll probably try and get some AP or some um, Willwood or something cylinders, something half sensible. Um, again, I'd like to have Tilton, but you can easily just throw thousands and thousands around and to be honest um you know the whole point in this car is that we can get out and have a bit of fun hopefully finish some races rather than win any so chucking like two three thousand at a pedal box at this point is a bit silly but right we'll get this in there um exciting times so i've just been and collected my boot lid so i've got that back i've just been fitting these sort of aero catches again it's all just quite straightforward um cut a, cut a hole in the boot lid and then these just go on and then they'll just sort of we'll bolt them in there and then those just push down and lock into there i've got set the heights and that with some with some rubber um just over the top of this like receptacle pin um yeah so that's that dealt with right so we've got the uh the fuel cell um so we're gonna throw that in hopefully it's uh what was it nuke one isn't it yeah, yeah it's nuke one with the uh internal swirl pot and such like so um, we're hoping that we're going to get this somewhere central. I see quite. Oh, you know, we make a bracket for over there. That's sold, isn't it? Yep. And we've room to fill it up. Back. Yeah. So we've got the 60 litre one um, with the integral swirl pot, and I've got like a DW 400 fuel pump to go in there. Um, the biggest one that that'll take. Um, yeah. Well, that's that's all right. That we've seen some people like cut these boot floors out and lower it, and maybe we'll do that at some point in a minute. But right at this point get it all working we can get it on the scales and work around and see exactly what's what anyway so yeah i'm happy with that all right uncle spike living the dream mate living the dream living the dream right. it's almost in made a nice uh aluminium folded bracket this side uh, and that's nice and central isn't it got to uh, get a fuel pump a uh, fuel filter in there somewhere at the back and then uh just yeah nice that looks pretty i'm happy as hell with that mate nice so um Uncle Spike has um, bolted in my fuel tank, it's very good of him. Um, my fuel lines already, we've got bulkhead fittings over there in the rear of the bulkhead. Um, so the tank I bought is a new performance one. Um, it's got an internal swirl pot, so I don't have to have like a, a separate swirl pot. Um, it's got a lift pump and a pressure pump inside here. Um, it will actually have two pressure pumps if you want it. Um, so if you want to go mental power, uh, we can put two pressure pumps in there and go up to like an AM10 um, output. We don't need that at the moment, but we're going to use a um, like a Cytec, um I think it's like a Walbro equivalent. Um, I think that's the 350. Um, and we're going to use a DW um, 400, which is the biggest pump that this tank will take. Um, and we're going to throw that in there as our pressure tank, as our pressure pump. Um, so, you know, that some of the joys of this tank is it. it, it we haven't got to like sort of have pipe and fittings everywhere. We can literally have out in. And um, we are going to put like a filter. I've got one of these um, billet filters again, just AN fittings everywhere. So all we've got to do really is put some more um, AN Teflon line around, a couple of nut certs for the um, fuel filler, um, bolt everything into this, and uh, 
jobs are good and happy days. So it's uh, it's four weeks, um, four weeks yesterday and today. It's like a Sunday night now um, until we got our first race at Silverstone. So um, we got a bit to do still. We've got no fluids in the vehicle, got not barely any wires. Um, I still got no, <laughs> I still got no windows. But we got the we got the the fuel systems done now, so that is complete. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll go through all the the windows and um, hopefully um, quite a few more bits. Um, yeah, we're getting there slowly. So yeah, please um, like, subscribe, and Ollie has told me that I've got to be going on about the little bell. Wherever the little bell is, you need to click that too, apparently. So thanks, Ollie, for the inf information regarding the little bell. Um, but yeah, all of those things. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed me dribbling on in this video. In the next video, I'll try and be a bit more proactive with videoing things. Like I say, we've, between me and my brother, we've had this bloody Rona. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully... Next time it might look a bit more interesting as well. <laughs> I'll see you soon.